can't get any more basic than the title of this episode is called Team. The ultimate thing you rely on in these volleyball matches is your team. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with High Q Season 2, Episode 23. With it being the end of Season 2, we are going to be watching Episodes 23, 24, and 25 in this little bunch. 25, because the first and last episode of every season is available for full length for you guys for free. So make sure in two episodes on 25, which should be coming out at the same time as this, make sure to check out that full length, always available for free. We ended off last episode with Yamaguchi. We didn't end off, but Yamaguchi was popping off last episode. But Alba Josai still ended up winning the set, which was so disappointing. Yet, oh man. So this third set is going to be insanely difficult, especially with Kentaro, with all of our aces up our sleeves already gone. I just don't know what we're going to do, but I'm very excited to do it. Remember guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Like always, if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, join that Dapper Squad, click that bell so you guys always know when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Hi Q Season 2, Episode so 23 called team yeah neither side has really what seemed to have lost confidence so far technically this still is still is anyone's match you know yeah rely on your team just get it up I agree fight I love this song when they play it. The set where they settle things with Seijo. Stop the momentum right near right now, get it back on our side. Oh boom. Nice, Asahi. Oh. Damn, they're so good. Oikawa serves, Kentaro spikes, Matsun's defense. We have a lot of problems on Alba Josai right now. <laughs> I love this song, man. It's so fucking good. Good set. That's us. Good shit. Finally need that momentum back. He's not too happy about that. Yeah, I think is there gonna Hopefully. I know Yahabas gave him a couple of looks. True. Yeah, Both coaches going through this intense chess match in their mind right now. Gotta move the pieces accordingly, you know. <laughs> Where oh it's crazy. I love it. Oh my god. That was a killer serve. Hell yeah. And I, bro. This is literally just back and forth this entire set. Tsukashima going nasty, but he received it. And Waizumi over to Kentaro for the last hit. The animation again, but we got it. Let's go with Tsukushima's smile. I love that. Did they? Did they switch sides? Yeah. Tsukushima, I think, has gotten so much more observant when it comes to those. That's what it seemed like. They were becoming rivals. They were getting heated at each other. I didn't even notice that. Me either. They've been building up their own little mini rivalry. <laughs> yeah. Going after Tanaka. Okay. Okay. Which I've been keep saying, Tsukushima is so observant. It's fucking insane. So we just switch spots real quick because he's able to. Hell yeah. Tsukushima's nasty, bro. I always have said it. Was it? Oh my god! Tsukushima! <laughs> now we have the lead, fuckers. Hell yeah. Which, 
he's a double-edged sword, you know. Riled up can make him do better or it can make him do worse. That <laughs> Look at my boy Tanaka, the deadly ass crow, bro. Don't fuck with us. The rebellious stage. Yoshi-san. Is this when he was off the Alba Joe side team because of his attitude problem, so he just kept wanting to practice? Look at little Kentaro. You can tell that's him with his pissed off eyes. So he was also inspired by our player. Ooh, Kiyoshi's at this game. He's watching. I wonder if he's here specifically because he knows Kentaro and wants to watch him in the game, or if it's because he's a fan of volleyball. So he just goes to the local prefecture tournament. Either one would make sense, you know? But he obviously knows a little bit more. And we've seen Yahaba's face like 10 times. And Yahaba... Hmm. I think Yahaba's had enough. He's been watching a lot. He's the only one who knew him because they're both second years, right? I think he says don't push him that much. Yeah, but he needs to be pushed. I think so. He needs someone to tell him how it is. And Yahaba was there to hear that, so he knows he still has a passion for it, and he's still practicing. That is true. That's crazy. The coaches, man, it's crazy how observant everybody is in these. I, I, I gotta, I gotta write that down. But he was able to to catch up on that with the back fucking toss from Nishinoya over to Tonic. That was nasty. <laughs> True, volleyball is nothing but a team sport, but I love the callback to the team title this episode. And how it's focused on Kentaro, who's a solo lone wolf, and how he relies on his team. You'll both clash and become even stronger. If that's not the the true definition of a team, I don't know what is. Bro, that's crazy. That is true. Cherish that while you can. And I love that Kyoto. I love that he's here for that, man. That's dope. He's man. This show, bro. This fucking show. Nice. He didn't get that, did he? No. He got that? Let's go. I agree. Hinata is definitely not the carrying force of this match, which is insane. I love it. Like, it's really, even though the title is teams, it's really about both teams as a whole unit. Boss ass receive. I'm saying. It's so nasty how good Oikawa is. You can ch keep everything the same. I'll change all of my serves to fit you. Per oh my god. It's insane. <laughs> 
王様ってやっぱすげえなわかんのかなんかすげえのはわかる Can't tell specifically what, but he knows he's an amazing player. Let's go over to Daichi. One touch. He not to, wants this revenge. He's going right in. Ooh, with the reverse double fake jump. And he is fucking. That was an Oikawa serve I've ever seen one. Literally perfect. Perfect. No one's there. Slam it down right now. Yup. Perfect. Hell yeah. That might have to be the thumbnail right there. That shit looks fucking fire. Oh, damn, that was a good match. I think my favorite part about this episode was the Kentaro little backstory. I don't think I understand it fully, but obviously from when he was a child, he was inspired by a singular player to be as good of a player as him. But due to his attitude and his the way he vents his frustrations, which I haven't played too many, I haven't played on too many sports teams. So I can't say I've necessarily had a player or a teammate like that, but I've played on many, many, many video game teams. And I can most definitely tell you there are players like that where obviously they're skilled. Obviously they have a passion for the game, but in terms of how they handle certain situations and the relationships with their team, it doesn't necessarily work out. You know, they're considered themselves a lone wolf, stuff like that. But I also, I love that Kiyoshi, I'm pretty sure that's his name, was not only practicing with him and was able to see a little bit deeper into his personality, but also went to the tournament and was, it's like, he's like, he's on Alba Josa, it's a good team. And he's like, you know, you're good. And you apparently went to a good team, but you ran away, which is obviously the easy option. If you face them and they face you, you guys clash, you uh, clash, you guys clash, you guys, you know, work through whatever you need to work through. You guys will definitely become a stronger, more fucking binded unit. I don't know what kind of word, what word I was looking for. It'll become a whole unit and and it happened and it worked and it was definitely helped thanks to Yahaba who was like stop putting up this cool front no one really cares about how badass you are if you're gonna come out here and potentially risk the matches that my senpais worked literally years their entire high school careers over i'm not gonna be okay with that i'm not gonna stand idly by while you while you you know jeopardize my my homie stuff which, you know, he's like, I thought you were more shallow than that. He's like, you know, maybe I am. You know, maybe it, volleyball to me isn't what it is to you, but at least I care about my friends. And, you know, he went out, the, it's just, it was just really good. And I love, I love how almost every episode, the title of the episode relates to whatever they're trying to, whatever little gem of wisdom they're trying to spike, you know, a uh, sprinkle in there this episode. I guess one's related to teams. Let's go back through some of the old episode titles. The Former Cowards Fight, The Destroyer, you know, relating Wiping Out, The Iron Wall, Coming Rebuilt, The Losers, The Battle Without Willpower. You know, all these are related to the trials and tribulations that our teammates and our, our volleyball players has to overcome in order to be better as volleyball players and as people. So it's like, I love it and I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here to finish this match too. This is, oh my God, we have to win. Now I was gonna say this is gonna be a prediction where I'm like, maybe we lose, maybe we, nah. We lost last time, it's a wrap, we're winning. Nah, Alba Josiah, you guys are going down. I love you, but you guys are going down. It's a wrap. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like on it. Let me know your comments down below. As always, if you guys want early access, full length of this episode, all the other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon, always available for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, at Dapper Darius. I'll see you guys in this next episode. Peace out, Dapper Squad.